Well, I rushed Take it away, that one. Andrew. Whoa, I was just about to say I want Kaya to do one because he hasn't introed in a long time. Uh, I don't know if that's true. I think I did 221, but... Mm. Hey, welcome back to episode 223 of the official podcast. We were just discussing how bullshit online personality tests are and how <laughs> they're, they're all bullshit. just a bunch of fucking bullshit BuzzFeed tests. Yeah. How can they be bullshit when they're just relaying information that you yourself feed them? Because that's not So a- you genuinely do believe that your personality type is Elsa from Frozen? <laughs> <laughs> if she is also a mediator, if she is also INFP, then yes, I am just like Elsa from Frozen. Oh, and you boy. can't dispute that. Uh-huh. Have you done the research, Kaya? Have you Have checked you your taken, yeah. Have you taken I've the Facebook ad test younger? that says that they promise it's free and then bombard you with ads and mugs to buy with your personality printed on it? Well, that's completely different. I went straight to the source, I went straight to Maya Brig. Ah, um, good old Maya, Maya Brig themselves. Yeah, the website. And then I paid for the subscription so that I could get my results immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> the, free, the free version only guesses your personality, but the paid <laughs> version takes a really good guess of your personality. He invented personalities. Good call, Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. It was very pertinent information. Yeah. yeah. I needed to know. So now that you know about your personality, how has your life changed in any way, Jackson? Well, now I can't stop thinking about my letters, <laughs> and I use them to define me in all aspects of my life. I don't go into any no, situation great. that an INFP wouldn't go into. <laughs> so there we, ha- there we have it. It's very important uh, at the end of the day to know who you are. That's right. <laughs> so, I'm glad there is a website to tell you who you are. Yeah, yeah I, no I love, one knows me better than Meyer Briggs. Yeah, that's I love, right. I love this comment in our live chat. So it turns out Jackson's personality type is moronic. <laughs> <laughs> I love those kinds of comments. Gullible. Yeah. Uh. Brain dead. Well, I, I, I've never claimed that personality types are important in day to day life at all. I just, I, I, I don't know. I like defining you by letters. So, That's so Jackson, cool. Jackson, drop, drop the letters, drop the like established no. stuff. Describe your personality and in I, one FP word. He would never. No, no. Describe it in one word, and we can do that for all of us. Just one okay. word. How would you say? What would you say that you are? How am I meant to know if I, there's no test? Well, well, I'll judge your word. Uh, personality. Uh, no, you can't judge existing. it with the word personality. Come on. <laughs> yeah. uh, mediator. <laughs> <laughs> You're just quoting words from the website. <laughs> uh, well, now that he knows I the truth about his personality, you can't yeah, just go back. It's true. Yeah, I've, I've I've already like corrupted the water or whatever. I like I, I can't get it out of my head now. I already know what I am. I'm so in tune with who I am as a person, Andrew. What would you say your personality? <laughs> You're so is? in tune with yourself that you need so a quiz to tell you what you <laughs> were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's change a the question uh, then Did, this, was there anything that surprised you about the results jackson no because Any, like, like curveball jesus no it's not gonna tell you yeah, so. something that you don't feed it it's not it's, it's not like a right it's, there's no plot so twist what is in the this point? personality to, well i what i didn't, never said there was a point i never claimed there was a point oh, i just god it's it's more so that you can uh, shout your letters at other people so they, they easily know what kind of personality you are because they're not. They yeah, don't know and that's your annoying as hell. It's like a, it's astrology all over again. Oh, I'm a clumsy ditzy sometimes, but I'm really like, especially during the full moon, I feel so much more love towards my friends. I'm a Sagittarius. No, no it's not because yes. again, it's an it's an accurate representation of your personality because you yourself are feeding the test your personality. You're answering the questions accurately. So it's just relaying that information. Astrology is just believing that star signs dictate. Your personality, which is unfounded oh, in my whoa, experience. Whoa, whoa, you think it's unfounded? Some with the angry witches on Twitter right, right now are already typing well, their care. rebuttal to you. I, I'm, I mean, you think, I'm an you think INFP, it's unfounded deal with it. with those gravitational yeah. pulls of those stars and all the aligning chakras, Jackson? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Come on. Uh, I'm an Aquarius. So, uh, no, I'm a free don't spirit. even lie. Uh, you're definitely a Leo with that kind of aggression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And gullibility. Can someone tell me what Aquarius is do? Where's the test for that? It depends on where you look. Uh, pretty much every Twitter account has a different explanation for what they do. Yeah. 
every horoscope. <laughs> I love how none of these, again, just, I don't know if Andrew made the point or someone in the chat, but yeah, you know, again, none of these tests ever tell you you are a bad person. Mm -hmm. No one ever goes, yeah, my star sign, I, I, knew, I knew I was a cancer when I realized I'm a stupid douchebag who abuses women. You yeah. know, I hear a lot of cancers do that. No, it's always, oh, I'm... You know, I'm slightly ditzy, maybe, or clumsy. That was the uh, that was the argument I made before we started the show. Why is there never a horoscope or a personality test or any of those where when you're done with it, it goes, oh, you're kind of a shithead. You might be a sociopath. You probably like hurt people more than you befriend them. It's always it's always so lighthearted. It's like, ah, you you occasionally will rush into mistakes, but that just means you're really eager to get started. <laughs> it's like, OK, maybe I just fucking fuck up things. Why can't you just tell me it's straight? Well, the, the personality test tells you your weaknesses and it's pretty straightforward. What I'm was your weakness? Diverse. What's your weakness? I don't like conflict. I'm I could have told sounds like you're fighting us on it right now, Jackson. <laughs> what the fuck? I never said. Oh, yeah, well, I, sounds I, like you're fighting <laughs> us even harder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight. Let's let's all discover this from oh, a friendly. Oh, now you're avenue, fighting because you don't want to fight. Oh. Look at his loser trying to mediate. It ain't working, buddy. <laughs> and uh, Kaya, that you being able to tell me that about myself is a testament to the test because, again, it's accurate information. A testament to its uselessness. Yeah, but, yeah also, Jackson, Jackson, yeah, yeah, hey, look at you, you Jackson. Also, Jackson, 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 genuinely, having known you, I don't think you're conflict averse at all. I think you bring up your issues when we have issues all the time. I don't think that yeah. test is really accurate so far. I think by conflict, you don't know how Jackson difficult it doesn't, is. Jackson doesn't want to fight like in person. He doesn't want to like be yeah, pugilistic. I yeah, I I'd, think I'd rather come at it f from uh, behind the computer screen. Yeah, that's how most retreat. people would rather do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's almost everyone. No, I, I, I'm fine with being uh, whatever the opposite of conflict averse is to towards friends and people that I'm familiar with, obviously. So what, what's the rest of your test? Let's see how accurate of a Jackson it is. Okay, I'm impractical. I'm self-critical. I'm overly idealistic. I'm difficult to get to know. You guys don't truly know me. You'll have to take the <laughs> test to find out. <laughs> God, all of this sounds like so... It sounds like a fucking red flag if I was on a date with someone. It's like, oh, div oh God, all right. Difficult to get to know, super special. No, not anymore. Not with that personality type. Okay, I shouldn't have told you my personality type. Damn God, it. This is all so vague and applicable to everybody. Well, yeah. That's what makes it so special. I know. That's what lets you know it's definitely for you. Yeah. I could be special. The other big one I love is, like I said, is that political quadrant spectrum thing where instead yeah. it's like, oh, I'm slightly authoritarian conservative. Look at that. And you go, you didn't know that? Uh, you had to do have a fucking put in a graph for you. Are you fucking stupid? How do you, it's like all of these fucking tests supposedly distill your entire worldview and your personality down to 15 questions that you have to answer. Yeah, people are too complicated for this kind of shit. We'll make a test then, Andrew. I, I also don't believe I mean, this one could be wrong, but I don't believe that you can self assess yourself in any way. I don't think the human mind is capable of being totally fair and objective about itself. I think someone else has to give you these types of evaluations. But no so, one else can be inside your head. Yeah, yeah, but that's why they ask like more specific questions pertinent to you. Rather than these generic yeah, cookie like, cutter, it, everyone can fall. Like the assumption that all human beings on Earth can fall into one of 16 categories is fucking lunatics. Everyone is so much more diverse and complicated right. than that. And even less, even fewer when you think about astrology, it's like, what, 12 yeah, star signs? Based on okay, so are you telling me there's literally only 12 personalities on Earth and we fall into each one of them? Goddamn right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's like, imagine, it's like that political quadrant thing. Imagine you have a super, super staunch conservative and then he comes up and he goes, you know, actually, I love immigration. Let's have more of it. And everyone's like, that doesn't make sense. How could you possibly think <laughs> yeah. that way? My God, people are nuanced. Here's the graph. Wow. Yeah. Where are you on the graph? That's not on my graph. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. He's breaking the matrix. <laughs> All our algorithms disproven. We don't have letters for that. God damn it. What star sign is that? You guys are the killjoy category. I just took the test for you. <laughs> oh. I took a personality <laughs> test recently. Category. I forgot what category I got, but yeah, I took one recently. 
How'd it go? <clears throat> Which one did you take? I took what a, Disney character are you? I took one of the one of the free ones because I feel like paying for it is just a scam. Like you literally yes. like for IQ Duh. tests to pay for the results means you just immediately <laughs> fail the IQ test. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's always a, the final question is just, hey, are you dumb enough to pay us? Yeah. 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 Anyone who gets their results paid for, they immediately get like lower IQ bracket results. <laughs> yeah, and docks them by like yeah. 20 points. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's well good. that would be useful information so, to know what personality type you are though well it wouldn't be useful information but i'd like to know currently so current, it's a shame that you don't it, remember yeah wanting to know what you are currently is fun but assuming it's an assessment of who you are as a person is it just Jesus, makes no sense. Well, i think you guys are looking into it too deep i don't know it's just it's, it doesn't claim to be You're useful. You're looking into it too deep. You, I'm you, not. Like, you know who you are right now. What? You already Nobody know what your knows personality themselves. is. Yeah, didn't you just hear? I'm no, difficult right. to know. Are no you the stars to tell you who you are. Are you, though, Jackson? According to our audience, you are literally just Lego Star Wars guy. True. From Australia, <laughs> a country that is known for one thing and one thing only, the emu war. I mean, the, our audience's assessments of us are probably as accurate as those tests. It's just they, they pigeonhole us into one of what, six yeah. personalities. So he's Turkish, he likes Legos, he's short, and he's whatever the fuck <laughs> Android is. Whatever I possibly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. What's something you guys think people, like the general audience, don't know about our personalities that they haven't guessed so far? Hmm. That would surprise them hmm. rather, I suppose. Um, what not? Well, that's such an introspective <laughs> question. Yeah, yeah, it's that's, a bit of a thinker. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't prepared. Is there, to a, it. is there a quiz I can take to find this, Kaya? Uh. Comment section. <laughs> no. well, I, I mean, find I the think, one answer they don't say. I think we're all pretty, you know, ourselves on the podcast. We don't put on any kind of, you know, perform uh, like personality altering performances or anything. Like Andrew is really Andrew. Charlie is really Charlie in real life. Like it's, I don't know. I, do, I did play well, with. Saying I did build Lego at some point, so it's, those aspects are accurate. <laughs> at some point, <laughs> I don't anymore. I haven't in like a year. Maybe that'll surprise people. I guess for me, it's something that surprised a few people a couple of times in like DMs. Is that I am extremely introverted in real life. And I don't think you get surprised yeah. people given how much I speak. Yeah, I don't think you give off that vibe that is a bit surprising for mm. somebody who doesn't know you um there you go. Well. hmm i don't know man i feel like my personality is really bare like i just i don't really hold back i can't think of anything that's like a secret either for what it's worth um, well, it doesn't have to be a secret. I just meant like something that I guess you wouldn't. We're not showing in public as much as in real life. I don't go out in public oh, well. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in your private life, you know. Hmm. I oh, I have something. No, no I, I hate oh, like okay. uh, goofy dances and shit, like general TikTok humor where it's like goofy face, goofy dance is the joke. But oftentimes when I'm eating, I will bust out the goofiest of dances just for myself and just watch myself dance in the reflection on my uh, uh, door. But yeah, that's really like all I can think of. Would you watch yourself? Yeah, like because uh, when I eat downstairs, there's that like reflection on the door leading to my backyard. So I just like dance it myself. Oh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I, I cute. Think we, all of us do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the only Dancing thing I can think of. At I, some point, we all talked about how we like talk to our, you know, vegetables yeah. and cutlery when we make food. <laughs> I think everybody <laughs> does that. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought of one that I have that's similar to Charlie that people might not know. Um, I, I will do improvised songs on everything, especially when I'm alone. 
So like last night I was setting up a controller with an emulator and when it was done, I was just like the controller's ready to go. And like, I will, I will do this for like an hour sometimes. Jesus. Just, like it's, it's not great, but it's, but it's fun. Well, not yeah, an hour, but long times. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, usually, <laughs> usually I only get like one verse deep into that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, anything more than a sentence for your controller being done is oh, a bit man. of a waste of time. Oh man, if you've, if you've never <laughs> just let go and had fun and not given an absolute shit at all what people would think, you've never lived. I firmly believe that. The amount of poo-poo and pee-pee songs I make while just alone is good, but it's never like an hour's worth of poo-poo and pee-pee symphonies or anything. Charlie, you have yeah, a no, channel where much. you make whole videos around poo poo and pee pee. Yeah, yeah but not video. songs. Well, that's I, just him. Not his thing. No, not, you're you're misinterpreting. I'm not like sitting down and writing. Oh, here's the poo poo pee pee song. It's, <laughs> He's got an orchestra. I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm doing things rhythmically. You're writing a script. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wrote down one of them at some point. I'd have to find that, but I came up with a whole pee pee song once. All right, well that's yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Wait, I can't tell if that's more, uh, less sad or more sad than Andrew's because, uh, like, if you write it down, then you you make something out of it. No, but my hold on, let me see if I still have it. My I, pee pee and poo poo songs are pretty good. Hold I on. don't even see how uh, mine's sad. No, fucking, I, I, yeah. no, no I, let's use it I, as I an intro to the pee pot, Charlie. Reboot it for season two. Oh yeah, I can give it you like a, a nice, nice little anime intro. Oh, yeah, this one's kind of cool. I, I Only one line survived, but it said, Yeah, that's me. I fart, fuck, poop, and pee. That was one of the lines. I don't have the whole nice. verse, though. So. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, when, did like you, the hook. when did you write that? January 7th, so oh. two months ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. It'll get there. Yeah, it's coming <laughs> along. Yeah. Andrew doesn't approve. <laughs> Uh, somebody uh, just posted a, a is that you charlie what yeah that the is TikTok charlie. in the chat no it's so shade. charlie dancing and i have to say charlie you have quite the fit bod mm. how'd that happen oh i can't give away my secrets but i'll let andrew do it for me oh oh well <laughs> charlie happens to use a completely revolutionized and personalized fitness workout that's available to him during convenient times regardless of his equipment and skill level that's right charlie happens to have signed up for fitbod fitbod will create a program based on your unique body experience and environment they will understand that the path to looking your best is different for everyone and their algorithm uses data and analytics to help you build on your previous workouts to maximize your results to eventually make a wonderful fitness routine. FitBod workouts are balanced to avoid overworking muscles and use varied exercises to keep you sharp. And like I said, if you have no equipment, they have body weight routines looking for people to get fit at home or on the go. And guys, a lot of people out there, especially a lot of men who want to get huge, think that body weight workouts are not sufficient. Let me tell you something. When I when I hurt myself a while back, when I was like crippled, I did exclusively body weight workouts. Worked great. Feel great. Got in good shape. Lost a lot of weight. Charlie, what was the name of that boxer who was like a really professional, famous boxer and he never lifted weights? He only did bodyweight workouts and oh, was he a wasn't monster. A, he wasn't a boxer. You're thinking of Herschel Walker. He was the Heisman Trophy winner. Massive, That's, massive yeah. man. Football, Football player. player. That was it. Not a boxer. He did do so Heisman Trophy. Arts, though. Ah. But still, man, well, man relying only on bodyweight workouts right there, becoming a fucking Heisman Trophy winner. So if any Heisman? of you out there, if any of you out there are doubting the power of convenient workouts going, I need to go to a gym, I need to have a set of weights, I need to buy this expensive workout machine, FitBod's got plenty of body weight stuff that you can look into, and hey, try it. Why not? FitBod is easy to use. HD video tutorials integrates with Apple Health, Fitbit, and other fitness apps. Build the momentum to carry your fitness journey through the rest of the year with FitBod. Get 25% off of a membership when you go to fitbod.me slash official. That's 25% off of your membership at fitbod.me slash official. Give it a shot. If you're out there sitting, listening to this podcast, and you're not driving, well, you could be standing up. And that's the first start to fitness, like FitBod. You might yeah. be worried that your personality type is not compatible with FitBod, but I can <laughs> guarantee all 16 types can use FitBod, so go use it. 
<laughs> yeah, which workout well, type for you? The personality type is boogie. I'm I'm upper body <laughs> leaning. I'm I'm lower body soft. I'm hoping to change that with more running. Does Fitbod have like that a was actually a thing, wasn't it, it for a while? Like the anthropomorph exomorph thing, like oh, body yeah, type, the, personality the, shapes, or whatever the fuck. That actually that wasn't is that a debunked. Thing. Yeah, there's um. Is it? Yeah, there's. I think it's like genotype, exotype, and yeah. endo or something. There's athletic bodies, they skinny like bodies, and titans. fat bodies. I yeah, think. endomorph, exomorph, and genomorph. Yeah, it's how your body responds to exercise. Is it a scientific thing or is it? I don't know if it's like discredited or not, but I remember I used to learn about it back in college, at like for one semester, and then no one else ever referenced it ever. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, that's probably because those difference just diminish. The more you work out. So, Charlie, yeah. you have a degree in what was your specific major in college? Human science, or the concentration was exercise physiology. Right. Have you, and I'm not dumping on you with this, I'm just actually curious, has that ever come up for anything? Oh, no. <laughs> God, no. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, you could become like a personal trainer if YouTube wasn't a thing. I assume I'd still need to get recertified though, which I wouldn't want to do. And I'd probably fail the test now. It's been fucking five years. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not using it as a platform to shit on Charlie. I think it's got a lot of practical uses. <laughs> it's just knowing him. I don't think he's ever used it for anything. <laughs> no, I never once used it for anything. <laughs> would anything, uh, uh, well, not to harp back on about last week's topic, but would anything at university be useful for Charlie considering he's, he's got a, a pretty successful career already. Hmm. Well, well no, no one here but I don't that's know why you're giggling me out None of us use our degrees at yeah. all Andrew has a degree yeah. in fucking computer programming Yeah mm. I mean, but That's, yeah, that's, so that's pretty useful though no, that's I'm not saying it's easy. not useful but he doesn't use it Not anymore now I think what Charlie got from college Was like a social life Honestly A way to get out Make some friends. <laughs> Literally, that's what I got. That was the main takeaway from college is I learned how to talk and be around people yeah. like in person. <laughs> oh, man, there's, it's going to suck useful. so hard. There's now a whole generation of kids who don't get that. I know. Oh, I, couldn't, fucking stuck I couldn't even inside, imagine staring at a screen. I, uh, we joke about it, but I genuinely feel bad for kids that are starting school and have to do it through Zoom. What a fucking miserable way to do it. Yeah. Ugh. Everyone likes to complain yeah, about school, killing but themselves. It, it's so important to be around other it people is. your own age. It's important to go to school in general. Yeah, it's got shitty parts, and sometimes the school itself is shitty, but education that early is fucking really important. And it's, socializing. Yeah, important for a social aspect. Just well. fucking... Yeah. Like, honestly, I feel like you could get rid of 90% of the classes and just turn university into a gigantic jungle gym where the young people can just hang out. And <laughs> I, I mean, that's fuck. What I Wouldn't I that be just so much more fun? Yeah, that's what I useful. wanted. I wanted, like, a whole, like, giant ground, like, where you can live and everything. And it's just, like, you people your own age and own interests. You just, like, fucking hang out at school without the academics. That'd be so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what What also kills just me? unleash the kids in the jungle. You know what one also kills me? When you think about like kindergartners and first graders where it's their first time doing school. Think of the fucking teachers who have to wrangle 20 fucking rugrats on a fucking internet call and make sure they're paying attention. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's never going to happen. Yeah, and if, they can't. If you're in high yeah, school or they, college, the kids... are going to bother trying. Exactly. If you're what in you high school do? and college, the kids are at least competent enough that they can, like, try, and, like, most of them will probably give a shit to want to listen. <laughs> but if you're teaching elementary school over Zoom, good fucking luck. My heart goes out to you. It's never going to happen. God, that... Never. Those parents. That's why I hate that, those fucking things like, oh, you, you want schools to reopen? You're so selfish. What? An eight year old hung himself because he can't deal with the fucking Zoom sessions anymore and he feels so fucking isolated from his friends, man. You can't do this to children. It just doesn't work that way. A fucking six year old can't sit on Zoom. I'm like 30 years old almost. I can barely manage that. I mean, we fucking. I couldn't. All of us alt tab during this podcast often. <laughs> like. Not me. Yeah, sometimes. It, like. Well, I don't do that, but if you were teaching me about fucking butt fucking math and history, I would. That is so boring. And if I had to sit there and th then they have those stupid fucking rules for these kids like, oh, they have to be dressed properly. There can't be anything visible in the background. You always have to have your camera on. Blah, 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 blah. Really? 
It's fucking you have all those, fucked you have up. all those She's rules at school class. though. Like you have dress code rules at school. Yeah, and but such. you're there's the social aspect though. Like you're no, there know. in person, and you're around yeah, people. You, you can hang you can out at least after. But you can also the, get bullied. You can also get wedgies at uh, at school. You can't at home unless your parents are mean. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, yeah, school's but that's I guess just you not that social bullied. life of, you know, you you and your buddy sitting next to each other and just passing notes back and forth and just fucking giggling and hiding your phone in your book and yeah. you know, yeah. doing whatever classmate shit that we send all do. Those send kids send don't have that anymore. Emoji. Huh. Uh, awesome. Friendship made. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, I mean, we, we contribute to the problem and scare quotes not really a problem but I, I get that so much when i you know i'm sure you guys do too when you're streaming and somebody is like well i was in the middle of my chemistry zoom class but i guess i'll mute it now <laughs> and watch yeah. your stream instead <laughs> yeah whatever <laughs> whatever go ahead i was just gonna say i wonder if there's like any amount of actual learning that goes on in a fucking group zoom call no there's no, no fucking way know. anyone mm -hmm. can pay attention to that kind of shit yeah. no chance Maybe it, the nerds. Very, very small amount. Like, yeah, yeah, the at least teacher would have to have some charisma. Yeah, at least in school there are moments where you do learn shit. Even if you just tune out for a lot of it, you're still there. And, like, it's hard to just completely yeah, wait, tune yeah, it out. No, to be fair, during high school, like, most of the final years, I would say, like, 90% of the classes that just zone out during... Yeah, but you're still there though. physically, which means it's, there's at least some level of retention. On Zoom calls, nobody's sitting in class watching. They're all tabbed out doing yeah. something else. And, you know, when you're sitting in class, you can't just mute, hit the mute button on your teacher and everyone exactly. else and just completely zone everything out as easily as you can at home. Yeah. That what are you, uh, fucked. Well, yeah, what, what do you think the repercussions of a year of Zoom, or two years, I guess, of Zoom lessons is going to be then? What, you think people are just going to figure out how to socialize? They already have, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah they, they, they already they, have, kind of. People were already having problems with socializing before that anyway, before COVID. Yeah, but this before is a whole Zoom. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world, but... I'm sure we will see the repercussions of kids not going to school for like, you know, two years. Maybe they're going to have like a delayed childhood, I guess, meeting people, meeting other yeah. kids. Childhood's getting delayed more and more anyway. Like 19 year olds and 20 year olds are still being called children by older people now. Well, not only that, the, like uh, <laughs> the average age in which people are getting married and the average age in which they're moving out of their parents' house is way later now. People are yeah. staying at home and staying single for far longer than previous generations. A lot of that, though, is financial. A lot of them can't afford mm -hmm. to move out or anything yeah, like that. Oh, not yeah. necessarily because they're dumb. Oh no, there's there's a lot of factors to it. It just adds oh, to the idea of it just adds to the idea of you need to be an adult later in life than earlier in previous generations. Yeah. Like it, it yeah. You know, after or during the war and such, you stopped being a child when you were like you know, 15 or 16 or whatever, and you got a job immediately and moved out. Like my parents yeah. moved out when they were much younger. That's a that's a good topic I think about sometimes. When do you think, like obviously the law is like, oh, you're an adult at 18, or other countries it's like, oh, 16, you're an adult legally, blah, blah, blah. When do you think is the moment you are officially an actual adult? Like, yep, you, you, that's an adult over there. 25. I think the first time you make your own decision to miss something, I, oh. that's when I really felt like an adult when I was like, you know what? I just don't <laughs> fucking feel like going to any classes today. Like when I'd always go because I felt obligated. But then the mm -hmm. day I decided, like, I just don't fucking want to. I was like, yeah, I just made my own choice, own volition. I am now an adult. And that's so when I really that? felt it. Hmm. I was like probably 20. I, like that. I think physically speaking, the they say that you know yeah. your brain is the only brain fully is so developed at twenty five. Right. Mm -hmm. Socially speaking, I agree with Charlie. Kind of, I'd say the first time you move out, earn money and pay taxes. Yeah. Because then that now you've been thoroughly fisted by life. You know, you're, <laughs> you're fucking. You got the government's hand up your ass now, not just your parents' ass. They're not the ones paying taxes or your, for your health insurance and everything. Now it's on you. You have to show up for work and pay your taxes. I think that's when you realize, oh, shit, 
the, those fucking undies I threw on the ground, they're still there. They didn't magically do themselves and launder themselves. I have to do that now. That's when you're, uh, you know, congratulations, you're an adult now. That's, you have to do your own laundry. That's pretty much alongside my view of it. Mine is the very moment when you are no longer living under your parents in some way. That's when you're an actual full adult. Like, living living in college is close, but you're still tied to them because they're paying your stuff or you're still... You know, basically, you went to college because of them for the most part. But, I mean, it can happen at any age. The time that you are not living under their umbrella is when I consider you yeah, when you're independent. finally an adult. Yeah, in completely independent. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose, yeah. So it can happen at 18. It can happen at 27. Just depends. <laughs> and now there's, there's uh, apparently in the U.S. some people want to, some politician recently gave a speech about how she wants to lower the voting age to 16. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> uh, they should, though. You guys are going to have Logan Paul as a president next year. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, they should. I want that. Be awesome. How can we make the country even dumber? <laughs> uh, what well, do you think, I, Jackson? You didn't answer. Yeah, but I, I mean, I agree with you. I think adulthood in and of itself is just a concept. So individually, you kind of make that choice yourself when you take on responsibilities or you choose to be an adult. But ideally, I'd say you should probably reach that around like 20, 21, maybe, uh, yeah, around that range personally yeah i think we should invent a drug that skips childhood just gets you right into adulthood fuck it nah (sighs) i i I like being an adult more but i'm glad i was a child it was fun while it lasted Uh, i disagree it's a nice little segment of your life no why do you want to fast track that you want people to be just born with fucking suits and go to work (laughs) fuck yeah i want pregnancies to last like 18 years so there's no kids anymore charlie's Charlie's first words were what are my stock options (laughs) oh it's a boy yay and here's your 401k (laughs) you show up at 8 a.m tomorrow sharp that's how it should be fuck yeah the kids don't do anything right now. They're they're not helping us in any way. Let's let's get them to adulthood God, right now. We've mentioned how much we hate kids in like a bunch of episodes, but every time I just love talking about it, I fucking hate children. They're worthless. They do nothing. <laughs> no, what they're the, the worst human beings alive. Yeah, take Old that kids. kids. Need to serve what the Andrew. Fuck? Prove their worth. Yeah, I've to never Andrew. said that. And you could say the same uh-huh. thing about pets. That's not the point. Uh, you, you don't keep them around because they're fucking super useful to you when they're children. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We should keep kids alive so they'll grow up and serve humans. <laughs> I mean, that uh, is kind well, of the, one of the big points. Are uh, they, though? Well, well, yeah. Well, are they really human if they don't wear cuts? Mm. Yeah. They're not mm. humans, I wouldn't mm. know, that's for sure. Yeah, because cuts... Yeah, I think and, that's how I recognize an adult. Exactly. Yeah, if you wear cuts. I mean, think about it. Cuts has taken... Yourself. They've taken the classic men's fashion staple, not boys, men's fashion staple, the plain tee, and they've redefined it by combining premium quality with a minimalist aesthetic. GQ calls cut the only shirt worth wearing. And in 2016, Steve Borelli, Cut's founder, set out to create clothes ready for every occasion for the man with the modern face. And he tried to reinvent the t-shirt. And while obviously, if if GQ is saying that it worked, then a lot of people are going to be saying it works. Hmm? <clears throat> Cuts also has a new hoodie where they developed Hyperloop French Terry fabric, which is a textile that's temperature controlled and ageless. And it looks really good. I got myself a pullover hoodie. I mentioned this Previously, I always wear zip up hoodies because to me, they're more com- more convenient. And, you know, in Florida, it's hot. So you want to drag down that zipper, and get a little breeze flowing through. They're decent when the wind's blowing, but normally it's too hot. But I got myself a pullover from Cut because I went, eh, how, how good could it be? It's a great hoodie. Super soft, super comfy. I wear it every now and then. I love it. Got some T-shirts from there, too. Cuts is not just a lifestyle. It's not just clothing. It's office leisure apparel for the sport of business. And if you're a big adult with your own decisions to make, you can get 15% off of your first order by going to cutsclothing.com slash official. That's cutsclothing.com slash official. C-U-T-S. 15% off of the only shirt worth wearing. Also, check out their hoodies. They're super good. They also have polos and sweatshirts. Mm -hmm. They've got basics for you. 
if you're a you're a basic hard-working bearded man and you need need reliable stuff in your wardrobe check out cuts Mm -hmm. you're an adult now I mean, if you're not wearing cuts you might as well go for the fucking propeller hat yeah floaties. <laughs> spin the little beanie yeah i think adults need to make their own decisions andrew but if they're not making the cuts decision i don't want to know them exactly it's disgusting mm -hmm. whatever your myers-briggs mm -hmm. personality of zoom socialization is it doesn't matter if you're not wearing cuts it really doesn't matter <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> What, what do you guys think is your least adult quality? My poo poo uh, and pee pee songs. Immature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> well, I mean, not really. Why, why can't an adult make poo poo pee pee jokes and dick and fart jokes? Well, well they're songs. It's very different. <laughs> well, but, I mean, you're a writer. Right. I mean, people. You know, they write you shows and shit about this. <laughs> that was an awful lot of credit. I'm trying for, to be nice. For, for poo -poo and pee -pee lyrics. I'm, I'm trying to make us look more mature, like we're just mm. a bunch of comedians who write bits instead of just farting and writing jokes about dicks. Nah, man. We play to our audience. I guess my most childlike. Also, no, they're immature, huh? My most childlike personality trait is my sense of wonder and joy at things. I think I still ha have retained that to some degree. Aww. I'm sorry you're still happy, Jackson. That's so I wouldn't say I'm happy. Yeah. As, as you get I older, you'll learn to get over it. Don't worry. <laughs> you get jaded. Yeah. They're completely different. No, in many ways, I still am jaded, mostly to do with the internet. But I still can find things like Lego, not specifically Lego, but like Lego, that uh, still give me a bit of, you know, excitement. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say my I mean, I child... Think go ahead, Kai. Sorry, go. Now you go. Um, I would say my childish thing More is that I still, I still love edgy shit. Like red and black color palettes and like sharp edge gamer designs and characters that are like, oh, I'm mm -hmm. the Joker. I just don't care. I, I still love all of that shit. <laughs> I do not care how lame it is. I don't care how cheesy it is. I don't care how overdone and like unlikable it is. I love it. I always love that shit. I want more of it. More, oh, more, more okay. characters like that, more designs like that. I'll take all of it. I think do it's great. Have it, on that note, have you uh, read anything from Batman Who Laughs? Mm, I've seen some of it. That's where like Joker and that? Batman like do the fusion dance, right? Yeah, you would lose your fucking... You would be creaming those trousers <laughs> reading that, hearing how much you love edgy shit. Batman Who Laughs is like this interdimensional Batman who's like become the Joker and he like recruits a bunch of other Batman who laughs <laughs> from other <laughs> timelines. What, what are you saying? Batman who laughs? What yeah. does that mean? That's his name. It's just the Batman who laughs. That sounds awesome. It's so like I was reading as or watching a synopsis. It's the edgiest shit I've ever seen in fucking comics. It's so and it's well written, but it's so goofily edgy. I'm going to write that down. I'm putting that in my phone right now to check it out later. You will lose your fucking mind reading Batman who laughs. And it's really popular. There's a lot going on with it. Mm -hmm. I've definitely heard of it and I've seen like pages of it, like art from it. And I don't know. I, I, I wasn't sure about it, but now I think you've convinced me. <laughs> yeah. Like, just look at the picture of what he looks like. He has like a fucking BDSM spike ring around his eyes. It's like some Hellraiser looking shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's super turbo edgy shit that I think you'd really like. Fuck. I'm excited now. I'm ready to check this out. And also his sidekick is tiny Robins. Robins that are like three <laughs> feet tall who just bite people to death. <laughs> <laughs> He has All an right. army of tiny robins. Tiny <laughs> robins. <laughs> That's fucking sweet. Oh, that does look like some Hellraiser shit. Yeah, it's it's pretty fucking cool. Wow. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna check this out. This looks fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is right up my alley. Holy shit. I knew it would be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that's hitting the real 14 year old edgy nerve right there. I love that shit. What about you boys, Kaya and uh, Charlie? What are I your most childlike qualities? I already said mine. What was it's it? Kaya's turn. It was the pee pee pooping. Oh, come on. The poop that a took a piss. Yes, it is. That's definitely the most childish quality, oh, yeah. I'd say. I write songs about pooping and peeing. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> you're creatively childish, is that what you're saying? I'm just saying the songs I write are very <laughs> silly, like when I'm eating food and I come up with poop and pee lyrics. All right, fair enough. Kyle? <laughs> hmm. I still have that, like, dickhead in me that just likes to get a rise out of people. You know, so that's why I get so much fucking enjoyment out of trolling people online sometimes, you know, with family game nights and plenty of fish. It just, I don't know, it tickles me just the right way. Hmm. That's really like childish, though. Do yeah. kids like to do that? That sounds more wholesome than childish. What? How is that wholesome? Well, it's definitely the wholesome. opposite of wholesome. Yeah, okay, maybe I misheard you. Did you even did... listen to him? No, may, I, I heard, okay, I really like family game nights. Did I miss a detail? <laughs> yes, you missed very important oh, details. <laughs> maybe my audio cut for a second. All I heard was Kaya saying how much he likes family game nights and things like that. <laughs> That's what he calls it oh, when no, he goes then, on but... the fucking neo-Nazi stream oh, website. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I may have missed a very important sentence. Yeah. I mean, there is the, of course, it's still, there is a wholesome aspect of me doing that with my friends that I love. And, you know, we all have fun together and we, we spend good time. But yeah, what I meant as a childish thing, Andrew, was just me going around trolling people still. That was, uh, I don't know if I ever want to give that up. I don't know. I don't think that'll ever get old to me either. You're just adult. You can make your own choices, right? Huh? Yeah. You can make your own choices. Yeah. So you can choose to go on I, I go on Nazi sites or whatever you do with friends. And when it's asking me if I'm 13 or older, I can say yes and not be a yeah. liar. There you go. I don't think you have to be <laughs> embarrassed by that, Kyle. I think that's... I'm not. Why the fuck would I be embarrassed? I, I like know. that stuff. I like trolling. I like being edgy. That's what. That's always the like, non-insult people throw at me. Oh, you're just trying to be edgy. Yeah. And <laughs> why is that a bad thing? <laughs> when has being edgy become a bad thing? Like every time somebody uses that in a derogatory manner towards me, I'm like, what are you, a fucking nun in a monastery? Are you going to hit me with a ruler and like beat me with a Bible and wash my mouth out with soap for using naughty words? Like, yeah, I like being edgy. I don't see anything I th wrong. With that. I it's think, fun for me. I think with that, uh, they're they trying to... it with laziness? No, I think they're trying to call him callous and like insensitive or unemotional, but they're going too far and being like, oh, he's so edgy, which I mean, Kai is not edgy. Like Kai being edgy would be like, I just wish all these people would die. Maybe these <laughs> Nazis are right. Like that's edgy. <laughs> but yeah, hmm, maybe there's something to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could evaluate you, Kai. Or Andrew, counterpoint. Perhaps Kaya is just not edgy to us anymore since we've spent four years with him. Maybe he still is edgy. Ooh, no. oh, I've corrupted you. Oh, uh, here we go again. Back to the Kaya's recruiting Charlie into the alt right <laughs> conspiracy theory. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> that one is a I classic. Saw somebody made that recently in some in some other streamers subreddit. Somebody made a long ass post again about how I you know. Did you guys know that Penguin Zoe hangs out with this alt right figure? Hmm. Always, always awesome. Well, did you take the alt-right personality quiz to determine if yeah, you were Do you or not? know if you're alt-right or not? Yeah. Officially? Yeah, can you confirm or deny right it. now? Uh-oh. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> it's, it's the alt-right right alarm. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a shoebox <laughs> bomb or something about to go off. <laughs> Those red alerts, they're on to you. Bail. <laughs> <laughs> No, I never took an alt right test. I mean, you uh -oh. can say right now if you are or not. Confirm or deny. I'm not. There you go. But that just sounds like that sounds like something an alt right person would say, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't win. You yeah, can you never win. win. Politics on the internet it's today is just trap. group I don't like. Has to be anti, like the opposite of me politically. God, who cares? Jesus. Yeah. Fuck. Politics is. Ugh. Yeah, I'm here to talk about penises or whatever other yes. goofy shit we have. That's my fucking politics. Yeah, it's always a great part too. <laughs> and farts and pussies and tits and asses yeah. and shitting and yeah, peeing. Yes, it's like, oh, where do you get that? I'm um, all trite from my pee pod. Like, <laughs> how do you distill this information to begin with? Like, I don't know how many fucking. I think there's like 168 hours of. 
yeah, hours in a week, and I, I talk about pissing for like an hour of that, and that's all you see, and suddenly you know my politics and my personality type. Suddenly you know I'm a psychopath Nazi. Where, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> it's always entertaining, the way people think. Yeah, right, I mean, that's how see. the internet works, though. Some... I mean, like, no matter what we do, we're going to become caricatures to the people listening. You can never get a it's, real feel for someone's personality until you know them It's not necessarily their fault. I just don't know why people have so much energy and are so willing to uh, engage in that kind of speculation online and commenting and shit. I just, I, I couldn't do that. Oh, they have nothing I, else they're to just do, man. Bored. I, I don't blame them. I used to do that too. You know that cycle in your life where you still leave long YouTube comments when you're like 15 years old and then at some point you, you know that... Uh, that one epiphany we all go through where you've written a long ass comment or maybe you're like only two sentences in and then you suddenly realize, ah, you know what? I don't care that much, actually. And you delete it. Mm -hmm. You just hit backspace. Yeah. And then past yeah. that, you, you no longer make comments because you recognize that the fucking waste of time that it is. Yeah. I yeah, mean, but even on like YouTube videos in general i've never left a comment or as far as i can remember i've never left a comment i just don't know who engages like that well uh, well jackson you i gotta... don't think i've ever met anyone in real life that engages with youtube comments and such or online posts jackson look at it from a more from a more like zoomed out perspective imagine you find a youtube video and it's got 10 million views and it already has literally tens of thousands of comments there's still people yeah. who will leave comments on that video even if they're comments that have already been said, you could scroll down to the best of comments section oh, and yeah, someone no. will be like, oh, this moment was really funny. And someone will still comment that that moment was really funny, even though yeah. there's people saying it. It's it's all that's, just that's stream of saying. consciousness. We're agreeing. Well, We're it, agreeing, well, though. Well, I don't know who those people are. I don't know who. Yeah. If, like, I've never met someone like that in real life where I can, like, they go home, spend time leaving comments on YouTube videos yeah. or interacting with social media in that way. But my, my point on that is it's all stream of consciousness. Are the... they, don't, they don't think that far ahead when they do it. They just go, oh, I just want to say this and move on. There's, It's a zero sum, or what is it? It's it's like a, there's no loss to them for doing it. There's nothing they lose by doing there's it. It's just, just something they had in their mind that they want to put down. I don't exactly. think it goes that deep. Yeah. yeah. That's not a loss. Yeah, that's just, yeah. you know, no, if I... I don't have a YouTube account anymore, but if I did, every time I watch, like, I don't know, that Ducks podcast, I'd leave a comment, you know, just a couple sentences because I like the guy and everything. But what I meant by waste of time is when you type those long, angry rants, that's yeah. something that you just, it, it knows dives the older you get. And I kind of feel bad for those people who still do it. Like, man, you wrote this fucking 5,000 word dissertation about what a Nazi I am. And it just that you just wasted your own time. I'm never going to read it. You probably sp spent like an hour writing that shit and then another hour refreshing the page every single time to see how many updates you got. It's you know, you're not even wasting my time right now making me talk about it because I, I get paid for this. You don't. <laughs> you're wasting your time. Trust me, you, you, you should rather in invest that in something else. Go play a video game. It's a better investment of your time. Just to clarify, so that no one is uh, leaving angry comments on my doorstep, I didn't mean like the people <laughs> just leaving general comments on YouTube videos were to be looked down upon or anything. I, uh, I, I also meant the people leaving angry comments and paragraphs and such. Specifically those people. Just to clarify. I don't think anyone don't was yeah. confused, but I appreciate the clarification, yeah. Jackson. Thank you, yes, Jackson. Thank you, Jackson. I was really offended, but now you're all right. Hey, I always care. I guess that's the other funny part is I, I never care about those comments about myself. I It's white noise, but I slightly get not mad, but like offended when it's about you guys. And then the ones that I hate the Aww. most are when people try to, I don't know if it's a sucking up technique or what, but every, every once in a while I'll get a private message like, Kaya, you rule. Tell Andrew to kill himself, though. He <laughs> drags the podcast down. Like, yeah, those well, are it, the worst. It, well, you think I'm actually going to do that? You think that's a good way to get in my good graces? It's like, hey, tell your friend to kill himself. No, just tell him yourself then if you're such a cool guy. 
Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. That one always gets to me. That one always like gets me a giggle where they're like, hey, the, I think the way I'll get this guy's attention is by shitting on one of his best friends. Like, yeah, that's so gonna make them like you. <laughs> let me tell you. That's all they want to <laughs> hear. They want to hear He'll nothing but negativity well, about the closest God. people in their yeah, lives. What do they think you're gonna do? You're gonna go, oh, you're right, I'm gonna get rid of Kai out of my life and you're gonna be my new <laughs> best friend, random commenter. You know oh, what? You've convinced God. me. It's Jason, the same get mentality. in here. Get out of here, Kaya. It's the same mentality when the when the guy in the friend zone low key this is the girl's boyfriend, you know, tr to try and drive a wedge between them. It's not gonna happen. It just makes you I look know. bad. That happens on Twitch all the fucking time. Like during the Among Us oh, craze, any any time I would play with like some friends that, uh, you know, a new group of friends. The chat, at least a few people, obviously, would just be going wild, like, why the fuck are you friends with this guy? You need to stop being friends with this guy. Or, this girl's <laughs> such a leech. She's only here because uh, this guy is here. Why Why are you even allowing her in the lobby? This is outrageous. You can't be friends with these people. People, for some reason, think they can dictate other people's friends. And I've never thought of anything more butt-fucking-stupid. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> That's Quickly, the, what's the opposite like, of some no 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 wait 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 what's the opposite of something uh, but hmm. fucking stupid Andrew please well, well using Raycon earbuds oh yes of course, of course. thank you oh, that was, evens it out I was thinking yeah. pussy fucking smarts but that works too <laughs> pussy fucking smart <laughs> that's Raycon's catchphrase if you want to buy something that's pussy fucking smart look no further than Raycon <laughs> wireless earbuds look we all look at screens all day. We have computers, we have phones, we have tablets. Your car probably has a screen in it by now. Those are pretty standard. Even the, the cheaper models are getting like tiny little displays. You are going to be looking at screens. And when you're in public, let's be honest, you don't want to be a jerk. If you do, well, that's, that's not great. But if you don't, because you're a socially conscious human being who respects other people, you're going to want to listen to your YouTubes and your podcasts and your music with some, with some earbuds. Raycon wireless earbuds are great for whatever you could possibly be listening to. You can catch up on your favorite podcast. I think I know which one it is. You can binge an audiobook, power through your workout, as we described earlier. And you can do it mm -hmm. all with a pair of Raycons in your ears that'll make all the difference. My friends, my fans listening, I have a pair of Raycons. They're currently in my closet. And when I pull them out, for example, when I'm going for a run, they are, I believe it's called Electric Blue. But I distinctly remember that they've got this wonderful blue color. Let me look that name up. If I can't find it, though. Yeah, Electric Blue. And I always bring that up because if you check out Raycons, you'll notice they also come in a variety of great colors. And some of you might be thinking, well, it doesn't matter. There's just earbuds. Who cares what color they are? I'll take white for a certain brand. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah, 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 nah. Personalize. Put color in your life. Check out all the different varieties and selections that they've got. And the best part is that Raycon makes sound accessible to everyone with wireless earbuds starting at half the price of other premium brands such as a certain specific white earbuds I may have been talking about. Hmm. Raycon's offering 15% off of all their products for our listeners. And here's what you got to do. Go to buyraycon.com slash OP. And that's it. You'll get 15% off of your entire Raycon order. Feel free to grab a pair and a spare. 15% off at buyraycon.com slash OP. That's by R A Y C O N dot com slash O P. By Raycon dot com slash O P. Mm hmm. Yeah, Raycons. You can wear them. Pussy fucking smart. Yeah, pussy Amen. fucking. That should be their official slogan. <laughs> That's really good. Do you think there's any company that has like a really good slogan that always gives you a smile or immediately makes you want to buy their product? Uh, I think mm. PetSmart is one of the greatest names of a business of all time. Because it's PetSmart and PetSmart. <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> fucking genius. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> genius. It. It's the perfect what name. The fuck. It's fucking ge It's perfect. It's literally a perfect description of the business. Yeah. Well, how is pet smart an accurate description of their business? Because they it's know pets. Cool. They, they do like dog training classes as well. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's perfect. It is a flawless name for a business. PetSmart. How about you guys? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go on a tirade promoting uh, PetSmart or whatever. Yeah, I guess the only thing that came to mind when I asked that was Wendy's and their hot drink song. Not really a slogan, but man, that song fucking slaps. How's it go? Yeah, sing it. The hot, the hot drink song? Have you not heard it? No. I'm Australian. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't do it uh, a justice, but I'd say just when you get a chance, listen to the Wendy's oh. hot drink song. <laughs> Come on. It's Andrew, fucking can you do good. It? I've never heard it. What do you what? mean? I've never heard it. <laughs> it sounds like you're the only one that has heard yeah. it. Yeah. Come yeah. on, you, you got to give it to us. You better rehearse it for next time. Yeah, I'll try and get the whole band together for it. It's such a banger. Kaya, can you pump it through the audio right now? Just You can just go to the chorus if you um, want. Is, the is, audience it, is it the one people it put in oh, the chat right Oh, is it from the training yeah. video? Yeah. Oh, I watched that years and years ago. I barely remember that. Now, is, it the, it, is it what people put in the chat, Charlie? Yeah, that's the one when so. these hot drinks. Is it comical or is it a song that actually slaps? No, it, like, it actually fucking slaps. Like, this guy could have been the next Michael Jackson. It's so good. <laughs> Now we're vibing. Oh, this is awesome. It's yeah, really good. The chorus is such a fucking banger. <laughs> Alright, this is two and a half minutes. Yeah, just go to the chorus. To the chorus. This is great. Uh, I think I have that. Oh, you skipped the first part of the chorus. You sick yeah, you son of a bitch. Now uh, we have to start again. <laughs> yeah, just take it from the top. Yeah. Drinks. <laughs> it's so good. Charlie, this yeah, song Max is Jonas incredible. Have one of these. I love mm -hmm. this. It's a really it's good a, song. It really is. Sounds like you said Juicy Sluts at one point in the song there. Juicy he Slice. He said Juicy Slice. Uh, Ooh. Give the guests a Juicy Slice. Fuck, this is a great All song. Right. Holy yep. shit. Thank you for we giving that song. to us. We had Let's songs. make it look like an old VHS too. No, I mean like with lyrics and all that. Oh, also, is that even going to come through on the episode, Kai? Did you put it on the right channel there? Yeah, oh, okay. recorded separately. We're nice. good. On your, uh, uh, on your audio? What do you mean on my own? No, I have my mic, I have you guys, and I have the song on different tracks. Yeah, okay, cool. Good shit. Yeah, that song is great. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that came to mind when I asked the question initially. Hot drinks. <laughs> That's a fucking... I love that. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good answer. Good answer. Hot drinks. I'm going to be singing that all day. All right. You guys want to do some viewer questions? Sure. Yeah. Of course. Uh, let's see. Hey, 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 I gave... I asked Kaya to do... um To go compile some viewer questions this week. How, how did you find it? Could you find any good ones? Yeah, a few. I, I think what we should do is tell people to upvote the ones they like, though, because there's so many. I saw like 10 questions because and I was like, OK, this is going to be easy. But then I realized there's 350 comments. Yeah, but a strong majority of them are like meme questions and such or questions that have already been asked over the last four years. It's quite difficult. to. Yeah, go they are meme questions. Um, Echo Deck is asking, what is the most disappointing thing you boys have spent money on? Oof, there's so much. Good question. Oh, wow. I wanted to say fucking college again, but that doesn't count anymore. Let me think. Uh, um, honestly, like I would have to say the HTC Vive, then the original one when I first bought VR, because I just, I just didn't get the one use you out of it. Bought in a sleeping stupor. No, it was a switch. Yeah. No, he bought that. He bought a switch in a stupor. No, oh. no, it was it was the vibe that I bought in a. Well, I mean, potentially both, <laughs> really. Let's, let's be honest, uh, but it was definitely uh, yeah that 
that was the most disappointing, mm. I would say. Early technology. Probably any time I've spent money to go to Disney World. Oh, you know, ah, that's, that's a, good, a one. good one. That's yeah, a that really is a good really one. good one. It's just such a boring park. And unless you're like a super fan who just loves to see mascots from the animations, it's just there's nothing there for you. It's not... It's... No, I wouldn't say it's a boring park per se. I just think there's far too many people there and you don't get to do anything. Well, what, like there's nothing to do there. There's like a single ride that people like, which is the Space Mountain ride. And Buzz Lightyear, yeah, Space Mountain is so good yeah. there. But even but then, Space it. Mountain, like if you go to other parks like Six Flags, Six Mount, or Space Mountain would be like one of the lesser coasters yeah, compared you, to it. You you go to well, you go to Disney for like the theming and shit. Exactly. As well, if you're a kid or a parent, Disney is great. If you're in the middle, it does nothing for you. I also I, no, I think it's also good if you're a tourist. To be fair, I think. Mm -hmm. But just go to Universal so much better. You guys have, you guys have, you know, lived near it for your entire lives pretty much. But as someone internationally, there's nothing like that over here or anywhere Also, we have, uh, we have Bush Gardens here in Tampa, which just has way better rides as well. So. But I, that one time that we went to Star Wars Land last year. That was disappointing. It was that awful. Was wasn't it? Oh god, yeah, it was fucking. <laughs> that was probably the most disappointed I'd been. We that had year, a we had a ton honest. of stuff happen, and the only thing I remember from that trip was walking through Toy Story World and seeing the woman collapsed of heat stroke on the bridge. <laughs> yeah. And the Disney the Disney employee puts his hands on his knees and leans over and goes, "You doing all right?" Like that was my favorite <laughs> moment of the day. <laughs> Actually, no, my favorite moment of that day was just riding the gondolas. <laughs> we oh, had so the many gondolas, gondolas were kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, the, gond- yeah. the gondolas were the best ride in the park. And we also had to do all free. Yeah. Yeah. Open. <laughs> oh, God. Where is, uh, where's, where's the food and wine fest, though? Epcot. That's uh, at Epcot. That is, that is the time I do have fun at Disney. I love the food and wine fest. But wait, we went to Epcot that day as well, and the food there was awful. Yeah, we had that fu- uh, really? Italian restaurant. Yeah, you remember? Wait, oh, what that do you wasn't, mean? We had a whole that, no. We that had a wasn't episode about that. That wasn't a food and wine fest, talking. though. That's different. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Yeah, no, no. no, no. It was yeah, just yeah, a regular Epcot. Epcot. Oh yeah, but no, that Italian restaurant's the worst Italian food I've ever had in my life. It was so you, yucky. I think I think Jackson and Kaya might be cursed to have terrible food because every meal we had while you guys were here was terrible. <laughs> you remember <laughs> yeah. the Hard Rock Cafe where the woman shattered oh, my glass God, into my arm? A, a Charlie's chicken burger came out uncooked. God, the fucking Hard Rock <laughs> Cafe dinner. Charlie's I had Charlie's di- Charlie's dinner was uncooked. Mine was fucking like a rock. They shattered a glass near me and got some Mine in my sterile. arm. They they took like a literal full hour to do anything for us. Like it was the worst restaurant I've ever been to. I felt Though, so bad. I, I had, I have to say, I had great food wherever you guys took me. Every single time, we were just classical greasy american food that i've always yeah. seen on tv Aww. and it, it lived up to it yeah no i was gonna say just fat and who greasy, was and i loved it i think yeah. it was danny me and andrew we towards the end of the trip we went to cheesecake factory and that food was fucking yeah. awesome cheesecake, cheesecake factory is awesome great. cheesecake factory is always fucking great yeah i knew that yeah, was, was a good so choice good. if you if you want a four thousand calorie meal and you don't want to have to decide between things because they have 200 options you go to the cheesecake factory Shit's amazing. Yeah. And also, uh, the the I think it was what was it? It was the Mexican restaurant, Miguel's. I think. Oh, Miguel's. Yes. Did yeah, we go yeah, to that? That was also. Yeah, we did, and that was also really good. Yeah. I remembered liking that one. I don't remember. Oh, I think we went to that the first night, didn't we? Yeah, it was the first. We night. also uh, took Kaya to Brick House, which is a local Tampa restaurant, and Brick House is <laughs> Brick House is really good. I love Brick House. Yeah, Brick House. Yeah, is and good. we also Who can went to the burns? steak place. Yeah, all in burns. all, oh, great over burns. there. I had fun. Yeah, I miss Burns so fucking much. Yeah, I, I think only I think only Jackson here is cursed. <laughs> yeah, I think Kaya even had when Jackson fun. was there, yeah. he was he was. He was making sure that I had the yummy food and he didn't. I remember one time he ordered takeout, a bunch of fucking chicken wings or something. It was like, yeah, I can't even eat those. Feel free to eat them, Kaya. And I did. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Jackson is cursed because the day he got there, he slammed his head on a counter as well. (laughs) Yeah, that was rough. Jackson's doomed to always have bad times in America. Was that concussion after I got drunk or before? During. During. Okay. (laughs) That whole night's like a blur. I don't remember <laughs> any of it. Yeah, I figure. <laughs> uh, classic. That was adorable. 
All right, we kind of side railed that question. Um, well, that's what the point yeah, of the question is, asking us is, to right? bully one of the. Huh? Isn't the point of the questions to spark discussion and let us run with it? No, it's supposed to answer yeah. it with so a yes. Thank you for that, Beck. Oh. Within a sentence, um, Andrew, we're meant to do it quickly. Uh, this isn't really a question, more of an ask, but I'm down for it. Eric is asking us to bully one of the boys for no reason for a minute straight. Oh, good. All right, give it Who, to me. Who would like to be the... <laughs> No, you know what? <laughs> the no, no, no. Let's let's subvert we expectations. Do let's do one we've never done. Charlie, you're such a fucking moron. What yeah, do you mean we've never done? Look at you. What have we bullied What's you? What's with your fucking your hair? We've bullied everyone. That's the whole point of the podcast. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I, I do feel like the bullying. Actually, maybe not Kaya. Kaya, you're Kaya? such a fucking moron. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you, Kaya? Do you get bullied by us? I'm curious. Do you th do you feel bullied well, ever I guess by not us? By you guys? No. No. Yeah. We let the audience do it, right, I go. Guess. go, I have a I timer. I have another time to believe. <laughs> wow, setting a timer? What a nerd. Idiot. Fucking stupid face. Nah. Dummy. Dummy. I'll bet he <laughs> likes food from Hard Rock Cafe. What a moron. This guy probably eats overcooked chicken. Yeah. Idiot. No, I don't. Stop. <laughs> Kaya getting actually self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> he runs up crying. Yeah. I'll bet I'll if you used to bully him. I'll bet if Get someone of this guy, he vapes. Someone would probably ask what sport Kaya plays, and he'd say, no thanks. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> He's alt-right of sport. Yeah. Kaya walks into a gym and sees sports and goes, oh, I think I'll take an alt-right out of here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I look at the gym like, oh, I need a Pepto-Bismol already. <laughs> <laughs> There's sweat on these seats. <laughs> I think, uh, well, no, and Andrew's pretty good at bullying, I guess. But Aww. I was going to say, I think Kai is the only one that would be good at bullying. I think he's got the energy for it. Well, yeah, but you guys... I, all right, the minute is up, but to give you guys some bullying advice, you guys suck at it because you just... Oh, uh, you're ugly doo-doo face. No, just pick a personality trait that I actually have and make fun of that. We haven't seen your Myers-Briggs results yet. Yeah, yeah. how to know? <laughs> Fair. You're difficult I to guess. get to know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the minute. We did it. Um, nice, we showed <laughs> him, boys. We took the high Yay. road. Um, let's see. Dub is asking, who out of anyone in the world would you like to switch lives with and why? And he didn't add this, but just for the sake of not making this super boring, let's say, let's exclude rich people. Oh, fuck. Is it, because that's too is it obvious, permanent so. or temporary? Uh, not specified, mm. so I guess permanent. Wait, so we can't choose any rich person whatsoever, even for different reasons other than their money? Yeah, okay, if it's a reason other than their money, then sure. But, you know, I just don't want it to be boring. Okay, like, oh, Jeff, I want Bezos to be Jeff Bezos for his cock. Ooh, yeah. nice work. He beat you to it. You didn't establish and I get the, money the rules. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. I hate you. Andrew, your turn. I like being myself. Oh, my God. That's oh. the most pathetic Ooh. answer. Come on. I'm serious, though. If it's permanent, I don't want to do it. If it's temporary, I'd do it. But what if you could switch places with a tall, big, like, rich well-known talented musician man so be myself oh what nice. oh. <laughs> what if you what if you swapped swap with your girlfriend so that you could be with you so oh, the, yeah. you like yourself so much Ooh. that's actually that's Suck really good dick. Ooh, that's hmm that's big brain. so the thing i always think about with these is the reason i wouldn't do it if it's permanent is because you don't know what they've done before like what if what if you look at tom cruise and you're like i'd yeah. love to be tom cruise and then it turns out tom cruise has like a poop fetish and he's just super private about it so every <laughs> night he gargles diarrhea you don't know <laughs> Therefore, I don't want to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> You'd be in control of that. This is Harvey Weinstein's. But what if it's an urge, an addiction? Night? Like I've just got a gargle poopy. Wait, what, what if you? What if you? Like in the process of swapping to him, you swap into a mid shit, like shit entering his mouth. Exactly. <laughs> now Jackson's thinking about the question. That's why I, I I'd do it temporarily. It. Yeah, yeah, I'd eat shit to like be Tom Cruise for a day, whatever. Oh, yeah. But but all my life? No, I don't want that burden. I don't, I don't like that. it then. She's eating shit temporarily. If you, if you, you inherit the you don't get any of the benefits then. 
<laughs> what the benefits, benefits are there forever? to eating shit? Of oh, being Tom Cruise, oh. you just get to be. You, if you're doing it no, temporarily, you, do, right. you just get to eat shit for no, a day. No, that's all you got. So imagine it's no, like a if smoker. That's his fetish then you'd be into it, Andrew. So here's, yeah. imagine it's like a smoker where it's like an addiction. A smoker can stop smoking for like a day for the most part. So if I'm Tom Cruise for a day, I'd be like, oh, I just won't eat shit today. I'll let him eat it tomorrow and I'll do Tom Cruise stuff. <laughs> but if you're Tom Cruise for the rest of his life, eventually you're going to go, I got to drink some shit. I have to. <laughs> I, I can't go any longer without drinking poopy. I can't take it. Exactly. So I, I don't want to be anyone permanently because you don't know what problems that comes with. But temporarily, I'd love to be a bunch of people. Whereas me, I like me. I think I'm great. I can deal with my own problems. I'm fine with you that. You can deal with your shit addiction. Exactly. Yeah, I've got it under control. Good. I've got a patch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a fecal patch. <laughs> oh, God. He just, he just smears a bit of shit underneath his nose. And <laughs> like a Hitler mustache to keep him going. <laughs> 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 so so I guess if I had to switch with someone permanently um probably a newborn baby so I could start life over. Oh, nice cool. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. There, yeah. A newborn baby but born to wealthy your... and healthy parents. There you go. Jeff Bezos the son. Hmm. Sure. That's my answer. There you go. How about you, Jackson? I already said. How about you, Kyle? I'm, I'm fine with my answer. Mm, permanently. I mean, okay, I also like myself, but being a bird would be cool. Does that count? That's not a person. <laughs> Unless Whatever. you want to be Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> the actor in the suit. No, that's that has to be a miserable existence. Yeah, that'd be awful. Um, I don't know. Fucking. Fuck, I don't know. Can really think of someone who isn't just rich that I want to be. <laughs> I know it's difficult. Hideo Kojima. Mm. Yes. yes. Be friends with Matt Still Nicholson. Rich. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I love to be his friend. What if I would hmm. love to be Joe Rogan and just turn his podcast into the Pea Pod? Oh, I'm just fucking troll Ooh, people. a spite oh, body swap. You go into like Joe Rogan's body with the intention of ruining his show. Mm. Strategy. <laughs> Use it to defeat our enemies. But yeah. then I'd be stuck with the shitty show because I'm Joe Rogan now, except, uh, you know, I still have the fucking hundred million dollars. So who cares? really? No, you'll, you'll oh, swap to Joe Rogan and we'll know of your plan. So then we'll bring you onto our show and you'll become and you'll replace Kaya. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I nice. like that. Wait, what? What happened? It's a swap. So then Joe Rogan's personality goes into Kaya, right? And then Ka so so here's what will happen. We'll know of this. So Kaya will swap to Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan will swap to Kaya. We'll go. Ooh, Joe Rogan, you've decided to join the official podcast. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. Meanwhile, Joe Rogan and Kaya's body is going to go to the studio and go, guys, I'm Joe Rogan. What's happening? And they're going to be like, Yeah, right, Kaya Orson. Okay. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Jamie's calling the fucking security. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be flawless. We'll get Joe Rogan and Kaya gets to be Joe Rogan. It's perfect. They'll recognize you once I start rambling about fucking LSD and DMT and MMA, <laughs> regardless of the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you answer Charlie? I'm trying to think of someone that also isn't just a rich... I was thinking like maybe an athlete because I think it'd be really fucking cool to be super athletic. But yeah, I was thinking that too. To my mind, immediately I thought, you know, there's so many dudes on Instagram that are like hyper fit that are always I'm so envious of. But at the same time, I think of the muscle head dude bros on YouTube. Like, I don't want to be a fitness YouTuber. <laughs> Those people are fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anyone like not rich, like it's tough. Yeah, it is. Someone in chat actually had a good point. I think I would swap to a woman so I could experience the other half of life. I but it'd be experience. Permanent. It's permanent. I thought of that too, but I don't think I'd permanently want to be a woman. A woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I mean, I'm women, inclusive. But... I'm including all women in that sentence. <laughs> ah, fuck. 
I'd be fine. I mean, I we're like roughly halfway or a third of the way through our lives. I'd be okay with living the other half as a woman just for the experience of it. I guess we need more rules. Like when you swap, do you know that you swapped? Do you retain your memories? I don't know. Like, yeah. This yeah, you should. God, we all, whenever we bring up a hypothetical like this, it just devolves into us asking for more rules and then nothing happens. Well, we already gave answers. Yeah. We need more rules to True. give more answers. <laughs> yeah. Right, I done. would only swap into a woman, though, as long as it's not in the fucking Middle East. You know, I don't, I don't want to get fucking acid faced for not marrying my cousin or something. So I, it would have to be a privileged woman. Well, I imagine like you choose lady. what woman you're switching with. <laughs> yeah, I really love Charlie's suggestion of swap to your girlfriend so you can fuck yourself. That's I'm glad good. I got credit for that. Just Jackson, you said always it. do. No, Charlie's <laughs> Charlie's the witty me. one. Shit. Jackson's the yeah, AMFP by his test. He would never say that. INFP. You were really close then. Oh. That was impressive. Oh. So would your girlfriend be in your body then? Because that would. Be yeah. weird. No, no, it'd be oh. better if, like, when you swamped, your body goes to, like, an autopilot airplane mode, so then it's still kind <laughs> of you fucking yourself. Oh, great, so now I'm dating an NPC myself. Like, yeah. me as so a... Then, so then, wait, what happens to my girlfriend? Awful. I don't want to... Where does she go? It, she vanishes. Yeah, she's just, just the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking override her, she's dead. <laughs> Sorry, I just really want to imagine having to explain her, explain it to her. Listen, I really want to fuck myself. There's no other way. <laughs> Only I know how to use your pussy. <laughs> Think how much better your I body could be if it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could do it. I don't want to sleep next to myself snoring and everything. I'm a hard person to get along well, if with. Yourself no, if they're the like sleep. an NPC, just make them sleep in the closet. They're not going to care. <laughs> Shut them down. Yeah. All right. Next question. <laughs> you just want a human sex doll, Andrew, a clone of yourself. Is there anything <laughs> wrong with that? Um, okay, so the Nomer says a question for each of us. So we'll start with Charlie. It, Charlie, if you did cut your hair, what style would you do? Mm. I'll answer for Charlie. Mohawk. Yeah, I'd probably just bring it back to the original style, I guess. I don't think it'd be a drastic change. So what's the, uh, no, a shame. what's the full question? Is it just if you got a haircut, what would you get? It was just for Charlie. Yeah, basically. It wasn't for each of us. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, those are for Charlie. The other ones are actually kind of longish. Ah, I see. Jackson, what's your topic for today's podcast i i see i, cool. I clipped this question for the beginning of the show i think <laughs> cool 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 all right i guess that was a question just for charlie then let's cap it at that one um tits or ass have we ever had that debate yeah, yeah. many times We've plenty of times ass yeah, okay. i think we're all ass, ass. Men. no i always say no. titties oh well i respect your opinion um, charlie I guess wrong. this one can be generalized to both of us, Jackson. It used to be originally just for me. Braden's asking, do you still plan on moving to the US? There were a bunch of these questions, by the way, like many, many asking the very same question. Yeah, I would have moved over last year had COVID not happened. Um, eventually, yeah. Aren't you buying a house in Australia now, though? Yeah, yeah, but I can sell that. It doesn't. Oh, okay. I'm not locked into anything apart from the uh, mortgage. <laughs> but uh, I, I can make it work. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'm also not locked into Germany necessarily. I'd be down to eventually maybe live in America, but I'm certainly not as eager as I used to be. I'm, I am holding my breath. Like, I'm going to wait it out a little to see if America is still going to be around in 10 years. I think we're going to be in the best the COVID... state we've ever been in in 10 years. We're only getting stronger. I'm sure. Mm hmm Yes. And smarter. Yeah. Yeah, faster too. Things are super peachy. I think it's good that the COVID thing happened for the sake of, you know, because before COVID we all thought, you know, if we don't have a studio, we're never going to get real guests on or whatever. I'm glad that this has at least now shown the boomer generation that online meetings over video are a thing. 
and it kind of forced their hands to now where even Joe Rogan has to use Skype to chat to some people. I like that, that it's possible. So it's not an immediate priority for me as it used to be. Agreed. Agreed. But I do need, uh, I want to move over for other projects outside of the podcast. So I would like to. You should. Next. Um, uh, wasn't it enough? We're like an hour and 20 minutes in. More. But, okay. We need more. Uh, One more. Andrew Laramie and a whole ton of other people are asking, will you guys eventually fucking tell us who the super boring guest from the Scrapped episode was? No. <laughs> no, we no. are. <laughs> It is It'll so, never happen. It's so much more fun watching you guys struggle. No, I mean, uh, I'm going to give a major hint. They've guessed it. I've seen people. Yeah, but we won't tell so. them who they guessed. <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah. yeah. They'll never know. Well, someone had it right at some point. Um, Alicia is asking if quantum teleportation is invented in the future, but has never been tried on humans and they were willing to pay a million for you to be the first. Would you do it? No. And she's amending. If the answer is yes, then why? Then would you consider it if you read the fine print and the fine print was like eight paragraphs and, you know, still said you could make it, but there's only a chance you'll make it. How, mu how much money do I get? Um, she says a million. Yeah, I also wouldn't do it for a million. Nah, yeah, maybe a hundred price up a bit. Yeah. yeah, it'd have yeah. to be a significantly higher one to risk that kind of danger. Maybe if yeah. I get like 90% ownership and a patent on the technology itself as well. <sighs> yeah, but it won't matter if you're fucking dead. Yeah, this, like, this reminds me of that thing where people are like, oh, Elon Musk believes in his own project. He wants to be the first person on Mars. That's how, that's how you know that he's so invested in his own. He believes in his own dreams. No, it's called PR. Do you really think Elon Musk wants to be the first person on Mars? Are you fucking stupid? The guy's smashing pussy every single day on Earth. He's rich. The fuck is he gonna but do on Mars? Think of the Mars pussy. Rocks? Christ. No. The Mars pussy, Kaya. He could, He's gonna he find fly fucking... Tyria and fuck himself with it on Mars. <laughs> he could fly models out to Mars and fuck him on Mars. Whoa, that'd be nuts. Nope. <laughs> that man is never ever getting on his own spaceship unless it's been like vetted for 10 years straight with a million other people who've been guinea don't pigs get it. that, that guy is stupid. wild on mars guy you don't get it the gravitational Isn't there lower effects? gravity on mars like yeah. slightly lower mm -hmm. maybe it would yeah. be kind of cool think of that actually Still what kind no. of effect would that have on sex you can't i don't know you, but you can uh, simulate that on earth they have those like you know those planes where they train astronauts where it, it flies straight up and then down and it's straight up and down and it like simulates oh, zero on, gravity. That's on Earth. The cabin. So, uh, Imagine being the first person ever to fuck on a different planet. You can't. How cool would that be? You, you can't. I'm going to ruin it with science. You can't get an erection you. because of the gravity. What? Why the uh, fuck does what? anyone want to go to Mars? I don't buy that at all. Oh, you, you can't fuck in space. Wait a minute. You can't get an erection then why in space? NASA, then why is NASA worrying about sex in space? I know they had to introduce a fun bunch of regulations and shit. I'm never leaving Earth. Yeah, I think you've been misinformed, Andrew, to be honest. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure you can get an erection in space. It's not, it's not like this, like it just dies out there. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. If, if that were true, then that would mean that blood can't move around your entire body. Yeah. Because that's all a bone. What the is, fuck? Right? There's so a whole Wikipedia article about this. Sex in space, specifically human sexual activity in the weightlessness of outer space, presents difficulties to Newton's third law. According to the law, if the couple remain attached, their movements will counter each other. Consequently, their it's actions like will not change their velocity unless they are affected by another unattached object. What? Uh, layman's terms? Well, it seems like you can get an erection, which I would expect, but the actual act of, like, fucking is difficult well, if you're yeah. free floating, well, that I makes assume. sense. I it mean, also fucks with your reproductive like you, organs. They don't function the same way in zero gravity because gravity is a part of their cycle. Yeah. Yeah. There's a read the article. There's a whole bunch of shit here. <laughs> Wait, what really? Yeah. <laughs> Sex and space really well, yeah. can't happen. I I looked this up Jackson, a long while ago because I was on... like, oh, that sounds awesome, but it your body needs gravity to fuck properly. Yeah, not my body. It can fuck anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, maybe maybe on like Mars or something, the lower gravity environment, it could work. But I know that sex in zero G is nearly impossible. Just based on how the body works. I'm trying to search this article, uh, this Wikipedia page for the word erection, but I'm not getting any results. So I don't know. I feel like it must be possible. I mean, why technology, wouldn't it be? anything is possible. Why couldn't though? blood rush to your penis? Yeah. Well, that's the You'd point. You'd think it rush. would be easier, if anything. I don't. Th I. I mean, I don't know it, the yeah, exact. Yeah, but it's getting science. pumped. It's not like it has yeah. to. It's not it's, the, like the blood has to be drawn to your dick with gravity. Your heart pumps it yeah. there just like it pumps it to the, your fingers. Astronauts can still pressure. move their limbs. The and it doesn't have to be it, that right? fast either. Like, I can beat on my meat for a while and the blood will eventually get there. I don't need it to be instant. <laughs> what Pop triggers the blood to go to the penis? Me. I tell it to. Hot chicks. <laughs> Low. <laughs> 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 yeah. Here, this article, low gravity means blood does not flow. Law. Low gravity means blood does not flow throughout the body the same way it does on Earth. It would be much more difficult and perhaps impossible for a male to achieve an erection in space. Yeah, just doesn't happen. Hmm. I'm going to fucking test that theory. That sounds speculative though. It does. I just feel like astronauts aren't super horny, so they don't go up there and try. They don't have someone dedicated. <laughs> they, need to, they need like a designated no. masturbator for we, the ISS. We need to send the buffest, <laughs> biggest man we can to space with the one goal I, of fucking all the astronauts. I absolutely disagree anyway. I think it's like the Olympic Village up there. I think they're all fucking constantly. I highly doubt it. Genuinely highly doubt Why? it. Why? They're like super fit people, aren't they? They're not super fit. What do you mean? No, like they're they're in good shape to I'm be able to withstand fit. the conditions, but they're not like super fit people. What do you, have you ever seen an astronaut? No. Yeah. Uh, they go through person. tests. Is that what you're confusing it with? Like they they can Maybe. they're picked on their ability to be able to withstand a lot of g force, but that doesn't mean they can like do push ups better. I'd assume they're fit. They, I mean, they are fit, but they're not like jacked, ripped gym rats that you're speculating they are. So how the fuck are we gonna colonize space then if we need like Earth gravity to be able to fuck in the first we place? Back to are we gonna like to fuck? Well, uh, like sure turns into a ground. vial while you're still on Earth and then like so, shove it in her. So apparently, when, you're in space. when you're in that type of environment, the microgravity usually makes blood rise to your head instead of being <gasps> able to. That's not where my penis is. Yeah. So the whole yeah, that's what, worse. We, what you were saying earlier with, with oh with the head. blood. I don't want to think. Yeah. So the <laughs> problem the solution is simple. You just jerk off upside down. Oh my ah, god, he's right. Oh. Genius, except mm -hmm. in space there is no upside down. Get fucked. Oh god, he's also right. <laughs> Fuck, oh god. Okay, so here, Wait, then right. why, why here, is it pumping to your head then? So, I, Hold up. Here's the reason why Elon Musk will never go to Mars. Mars's gravity is about 38% of that of Earth. That means sex on Mars is gonna be only 38% as fun as it is on yeah. Earth. Uh-oh. Basically, blood right, doesn't rush to your dates. genitals, meaning you basically what? don't get aroused in space. What right, what if you uh, like extract the blood from your veins using a, like a hypothermic needle and then jam it into your cock and manually uh, inject it with blood? That no. sounds like the best no. sex I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. By the way, I, I think like, Andrew, it. you could still... It, it's worse than not getting aroused. You're going to be psychologically aroused. Like, yeah, my girlfriend is so hot. I want to fuck her, but your dick isn't going to work. Oh, like, that's the God. worst I did, scenario. I could never I be an see. astronaut. I did see something pretty interesting. I think we have an actual dick scientist in the chat. Someone speculated you could get a boner on Earth and carry it into space. <laughs> <laughs> get this man on that a rocket. That sounds like an astrophysicist to me. Yeah, that sounds that's pretty long, sound. That's a long journey, though. Yeah, but I, I mean, there's. I mean, I'm sure you could just like edge the whole way into space. I mean, yeah. it'd be like a bumpy ride. You need to really focus. But I'm sure if you're dedicated, you could reach just your train your body, body Jackson. Jackson. You just decide to go home. Just, just train your back. body. So it doesn't take. We've all had those, you know, multi-hour erections. I'm sure at some point in our lives, just binging porn. But like, and you know, I'm sure it takes not that long to launch yourself into orbit, at least from Earth, from a launch pad. So yeah. I think the major challenge would be maintaining the erection while you're getting blasted with like 30 Gs of force into your body <laughs> during the launch. 
<laughs> like that's gonna be rough. Actually, yeah, it'd be painful as fuck. Yeah, but I'm sure it could be done. Like, the, like we've all tucked our boners into our waistband at some point. We could like outfit the astronaut suit <laughs> with like a designated dick holding spot to like withstand the G force while erect. <laughs> they need to invent like a, a pair of underwear that has a designated dick holding cup at the top. Yeah, exactly. Like a little uh, like, like groove that you can put your dick in. Yeah. Like kind of like an arrow. You know, we could quiver. test this. So next time we're all together, let's go to one of those amusement parks with the roller coasters <laughs> yeah. and fluff ourselves to get hard and see if we can maintain it <laughs> throughout the throughout the loops and everything. Ideally, I'd like it where there's no one else around and it's just a private roller coaster without all the kids and families on it. Oh yeah, yeah, just us, <laughs> just us boys. Just <laughs> yeah, just a family staring at us, three fucking fucking sweaty dudes with boners. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's like, "Don't mind us, man. This is for science." <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit in front, otherwise if we accidentally come, it'll fly back into everyone else. <laughs> Go too far, yeah. Well, on a roller coaster, imagine coming at the top of the loop and then down when you're at the bottom <laughs> of it, you just, you bukkake yeah, yourself. yourself. Uh, yeah, I think it's no. just speculation. Well, I'm sure you can get boners in space given the right uh, motivation. There, someone must I mean, have done the just because I read an article that the first space hotel is set to be operational in 2027. Why the fuck would you ever go there if you can't even fuck? That is a good question. And what what are like our colonization uh, procedures if we can't fuck in space or other planets? Like that that, yeah, that whole like effort is just doomed. Maybe it would have to be like Prometheus, you know, where they were carrying embryos around. Yeah, like to recolonize eggs places. In, in canisters or yeah. whatever. But surely, Lame. but sh- surely, then something, some person would have to give birth to that child eventually, right? Like you have to inject the <gasps> embryo. Oh, imagine how much easier giving birth would be without gravity, though, right? Wouldn't that yeah, be very helpful? Out. You're describing stranger yeah. in a strange land. Wait, no, 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 no. That, How would oh, that be fuck. easier? Maybe, maybe that's not easier. Maybe like the baby is just floating around in your uterus and can't make its way out. Oh, true. Well, then maybe like you puke it out instead of it coming out of your pussy or yeah, something. Yeah, it comes out the top, right? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. You'd have you to have C-sections in space. No, I don't like uh, space anymore. This is ruined it. I never knew about the erection issue. Yeah. I, don't, I, I really feel I don't like believe it. Could, yeah, I think it's a myth. I think it's just something that NASA started so the astronauts wouldn't fuck and they don't even bother trying now. <laughs> 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 NASA just low-key gives them fucking you know, hormone blockers and shit so they can never get hard in space. They just yeah. tell them, oh, it's the gravity, the, the lack of gravity. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do you think that if an astronaut gets an erection, he hits like the red alert button and the whole spaceship goes crazy? <laughs> just explode. <laughs> so there's no evidence. <laughs> they spend years in space. Uh, what about like wet dreams? Wait, no, they don't. They have to come back like every... No, people, no yeah, like on they? the ISS, they've spent up to like a year in space. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no yeah, way yeah. they don't masturbate. They're, I will not Holy believe that any shit. man on there can does not masturbate for a year. Yeah, someone spent a year, a year and a third in space. It was the longest time in space. 438 oh, straight like, like, days in space. That maybe that's cool. NASA's secret. that They like secretly pick those demented perverts with a sissification fetish and they lock them in cock cages. They wear like skirts under the space suit and that's how they stay celibate for a year, but I don't buy it. The Atlantic says, by the way, the International Space Station bans astronaut sex. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah. That's like that's oppression. Let our yeah, astronauts come. Do that? <laughs> well, why wouldn't they be out of fuck? That's stupid. Because they need to focus on science. Yeah, it compromises the mission. How, what? How? If you get an astronaut pregnant, just, what the fuck do you do? That is a good point. Yeah, you raise well, the more baby science in can space. be done. What about STDs? What about fluids? You got to remember, in space, fluids are an actual fucking problem. You can't spill something in space; it will destroy fucking technology and just float forever. God, these Shoot these guys really do sound like dweebs, though. Th- these astronauts. Um, so the p- press conference says. Command, commanders do not allow sexual intercourse on the International Space Station. We are a group of professionals, said Alan Point Dexter. Fitting name. Wait, is his name really Point Dexter? A- yeah, it's <laughs> Alan Point Dexter, a NASA commander. Holy shit. We treat each other. 
We treat each other with respect and we have a great working relationship. Personal relationships are not an issue. We don't have them and we won't. <laughs> what website is that from? Uh, the Atlantic. Here, I'll put it in the chat. All right. Well, these guys sound like, like massive satire. dorks. I bet I bet no fucking kid would ever say I want to be an astronaut when I grow up if they only knew about this. This is suppressed the kid information. Says that they're not thinking about boners and fucking in space, to be fair. A 14 year old does. Oh, I, guess, <laughs> I guarantee yeah, you I did. <laughs> what, what, why, why did you connect space with sex? Because it's cool. What? Yeah, because it's cool, Jackson. Like when you're 15 years old, you want to fuck everywhere. You want to fuck everything. Not, yeah, no, but that's not why people want to become astronauts or whatever. I still, to, to this space. day, and I've brought it up multiple times, I still think one of the best things humanity can do is take a giant, like, massive rocket of bunch of different cum and just fire it into space and see if it can, like, maybe populate oh, an asteroid life. or something. Yeah, yeah, it flies into some Martian's vagina or something, and <laughs> she's pregnant. Well, I mean, it, I just feel like if it just like starts hitting planets at some point, even like frozen, it might help. <laughs> We're just launching into that. I mean, uh, like intergalactic missiles of common <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's such so a good like, idea. That is a good idea. So like a Maybe that's how life on Earth war. started. Who knows? They start f f uh, firing their comeback at us. <laughs> 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 the cum wars. We're going to have Klingon cum missiles just striking yes. our major cities. It's Independence Day, but with cum. Fuck yeah. I'd watch that. Alright, should we wrap? Yep. yep. Yeah, that was we a long should. Episode. That was a long Good episode. episode. Yeah. Hour and a half. Alright. Thank All you right. for the questions, everyone, and being patrons. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. Patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes. If you want to throw a few bucks and our way, it's much appreciated. Kai has put a new the series up episode. there, too. Yes, we have. We now have bonus bonus content called Plenty of Trash, as I promised in the last episode. You can now watch a clip of me trolling people on Plenty of Fish. Everybody loves it. There's like 85 comments yeah. and 80, all 85 of them are desperately begging for more. So it's well received and well worth the subscription money. Yeah, people loved it. I was pleasantly surprised. It, it was like a seven hour long video too, wasn't it? No, it, it was the 10 minutes. I took a clip. I can't, I, I figured I shouldn't oh, upload right. the full video because there's a lot of boring segments in it where like, you know, we'll, we'll click on five names in a row and all five are like absent. They just have their cameras on with terrible music playing. So it's, I think I'm going to just do the highlights every other week. So people have something even when we don't upload a bonus that week. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, people really enjoyed it. So go check it out. Uh, as well as bonus episodes once every two weeks. There's a whole bunch of shit there. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. And thank you. Thank you for listening and watching. Yes. Thank Thanks, you, everyone. everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.